In this video, we'll cover some of the shortcuts, techniques, and time-saving features in the Advanced Daily Rates section of ResNexus. We'll start in the Settings menu by clicking on Daily Rates under the General Settings section here. We have included all of the different features that have to do with rates here in the menu on the right side of the page. As you can see, you have access to sliding rates, yield management, and rate types. You'll notice here on the rate chart that months will be divided by this black bar here, the one without the directional arrows. So as you can see, the month of October begins here. When looking to advance forward in the rate chart, you'll simply click anywhere on the black bar here. Each click advances forward 10 days. To go back 10 days, simply click the black bar on the left side here. Clicking the print icon here lets you preview and print your rates. On occasion, property owners like to print their rates so they have a copy available for the upcoming week. This is primarily the reason for the 10-day view because 10 days fits perfectly on a printed page. Now let's talk about the colors. The blue color signifies today's date. The green color signifies that a reservation is scheduled for that room, unit, or site. It would also show the same color green if you had blocked a specific room, unit, or site for a certain period of time. Similar to the calendar grid, we have also created the alternating color pattern, providing a visual difference in color between each of your rooms, units, or sites. You'll also notice we have adults, children, and pets here. In order for these items to be displayed on the rate chart, they must be enabled under supported guest types in the children and pets area of your business settings. Notice the small icon to the right of each room, unit, or site on the left side of the screen here. Clicking on the icon takes you directly into the information page for that unit providing more of a list type view of any standard, special, and or holiday rates you currently have in place for that specific unit. Moving forward, this new design allows you to use special rates in almost every case. The need for establishing a standard rate becomes unnecessary. This new design assists you in managing your rates more intelligently than the previous design. The new process for creating rates is a step-by-step -step process. When creating a new special rate, you'll click on the yellow adjust button here. The top of the rate adjustment window lists which of the five steps you are currently on. This process walks you through creating or editing your rates, allowing you to select the different parameters your new rate will follow. In step two of five, we have provided the ability for your new rate to repeat for up to five years in the future. When editing or creating a new rate, you'll notice the default rate type is New Special Rate. Another key to remember when setting up a new rate is that the new special rate you create will trump or override any of the other rates you have in place for the time frame you are creating. Also, note that special rates always override standard rates. Clicking the Edit button on any of the line items in the final step five of five here takes you directly to that page of the process. Notice here in the window the option to skip to the end. This avoids the need to hit the next button multiple times to again return to the final step. When you select skip to the end the option takes you to the last page in the process. The final step allows you to confirm the details of the new rate you are creating. An additional navigation tool on the rate chart allows you to click on any row header, column header, or an individual cell. Whichever of these you have clicked on will preload the details in the rate adjustment window. First, clicking on a cell. You might use this option if you are wanting to change your rate for a specific room and date. Second, clicking on a column is likely the option you will use the most. This option would accommodate increasing or decreasing your rates for an upcoming weekend. And third, clicking on a row. This is the option you might use to adjust the rates for a specific room. We'd like to thank you for taking a moment to become more familiar with some of the navigation tools contained within the Advanced Rates section of ResNexus.